Scientists. Uh, scientists say they have discovered a new color. It wasn't purple, obviously. The color was discovered during an experiment when researchers in the U.S. had laser pulses fired into their eyes. The participants claimed to have witnessed this right here, a blue-green color that scientists called Olo. The color can't be seen by the naked eye without I'm the help of simulation. Right no, no, no. This is the closest to it. Oh. Um, but the actual color is much more saturated and it's different because you got to have lasers put in your eye. Findings were published in the journal Science uh, Advances, and researchers believe the results could potentially further research into color blindness. But the question I have for you, Mike, yeah. would you be willing to have something shot into your eye just so you could see a different color? No. I doubt that this hurts. It's still the idea of something, you know. I don't like to go to the ophthalmologist to have the stuff Puff of air. Puff of air oh. shoved into your I can't uh, take it. irises. The, one of the last times I went to the eye doctor, they gave up. They're like, you know what? It'll be fine. Like, Because I just, I couldn't keep, keep my eye open. It's the anticipation that I think that's worse than the actual thing. Here it comes. Oh, gosh. This oh. color's not in the Crayola crayon. 300 bucks. <laughs> it would be apparently not. the 65th color. Oh, we got to remarket the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. After weeks of back and forth, Crozier Medical Center will close. So the Hank is live with the details because there's been a lot of back and forth with this one. There has been, uh, but most of it's more or less over and not in the good way. And Mike Alex, good morning to you. We're talking about something like 3,200 high skill, good paying jobs uh, at two hospitals. This one, Crozier here in Chester, Taylor Hospital in Ridley Park. You're also talking about two hospitals, guys, that represent the center of health care for 200,000 people. Uh, it'll be shut down completely. Where will they go? Word got out yesterday, guys, of Crozier and Taylor Hospitals impending closure when their court appointed receiver. TBI Consulting announced that Prospect Medical Holdings was filing notices for closure. That means they've rejected the a $6 million offer from Penn Medicine that we've talked about to buy some aspects of the system and keep them going. One of the best areas of Delco is about to become a desert for critical health services. He's directing me to other doctors, but what, like, what about the people like the um, shooting victims in the city of Chester? Like, their um time, their response and frame time is going to be cut down like in half now because they would have to go to Delaware or Riddle. I don't th think Riddle have a um a trauma C unit. Um, they have to go far away. They make this is life or death now because the time is cut in half. You know, you don't know how long you have to live after you get after you get shot. Yeah, the closures are more than likely the best way to file bankruptcy for Prospect, guys. The hospitals had been healthy until they were bought out by Prospect Medical Holdings. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been borrowed against the hospitals as their most valuable assets were sold out from under them to the huge benefit of about a dozen very wealthy people, but to the wellness detriment uh, of an entire county, guys. And the politicians, uh, you know, the attorney general, the governor, have all screamed and yelled, certainly Delco politicians. Uh, but I haven't seen uh, any real effort to stop it, guys. And unless it's made illegal, it'll still be legal. Uh, and it could happen to another hospital system, maybe even another one near us. Hopefully it won't be uh, Mercy Fitzgerald. Hopefully it won't be Riddle Hospital. Those are the two hospitals uh, that people here that would be going to these hospitals will be going to after they close. Mike, out. Hey, you're right. That's, help. That's uh, major, two major lifelines for sure. All right, uh, 640. Thanks, Zach.